1832, Nat Turner insurrections, you know, killed a bunch of slave owners. They sent us over a thousand Christian missionaries into the South, into all the churches to regulate what Negro spirituals could or could not be saying because they felt that the music was influencing the rebellions. So they censored the music. It's just what they do. You know what I mean? And it's been going on, you know, consistently. And, you know, immediately following Rodney King, you know, the riot, the Rodney King riots, that's when they shift the paradigm from culturally aware or black awareness music, as you would call it, you know, uh, to this new paradigm of money, hoes, clothes, party, and bullshit. You know, that's just what it is. You know, that's just what it is. And, um, you know, I have a book that, I, that I'm about to have published that I've, I've written. It's called Three Fifths an MC, The Manufacturing of a Dumbed Down Rapper. And it's, it's, it's explaining how we got here. You know, the rapper that we see, you know, you know, the pussy popping and the, and the money holes closed and the balling out, buying out the bar. This rapper, he was created. He's created. He's not, it's not something that a rapper just said one day, you know, you know what? I'm just gonna rhyme about whores all day long. I'm just gonna rhyme about crack dealing all day long. I'm just gonna rhyme about gang banging all day long. It's not what happened. You know, an article just was just uh, released an interview with uh, Hip Hop DX with Too Short. With Too Short says that the label, I think it was Barry Weiss, he said the top executive at Jive Records said to him, yo, just make a record with all pussy songs on it. You know what I mean? And Too Short said, yo, if I do that, I'm going to have to put a record out to follow that with all conscious records on it, like like uh, Life is Too Short, like In the Ghetto, and songs like that that he was writing, you know, that it was socially relative records. They, he, and they agreed. They said, okay. But when he put out the pussy record, they reneged on the, on the record that he submitted next. They said, no, we're not going to do it. And from then on, you know, it was just a, a, share, a paradigm shift across the board. To see more interviews from your favorite New Jersey MCs, watch Can't Forget New Jersey on Amazon Prime.